What's going on, you guys? Friday Express 1993 here, and we're going to be doing a OEM, also OS tour of Windows 95 Packard, made from. Actually, this is the Packard Bell version of Windows 95 I have, and I actually installed this using a Packard Bell Master CD. That's an, that's one gave me, which I'm also use that CD when I get the Packard Bell from my aunt. That's at our um, trailer. She has all the other computers that I got to go through to make sure to see which ones are good and which ones are bad, you know. But anyways, let's go ahead and log into Windows. And another thing, I even, I even installed Office 97 and Plus for Windows 95. So let's go ahead and begin, shall we? If you're wondering what version of Windows 95 I'm using it is Windows 95 RTM. This is not version A or B or C. I'm going to show you right here into the system properties. This is 4.0.950. So it did release various versions of Windows 95 over the years of between 1995 to 1997 which I believe that early 96 was version A and was version B which is OSR 2.0 and 2.5 and 2.1 which I meant to say around 1996 then around 1997 they also released OSR 2.5 which is known as Windows 95 C and actually around 1996 when they were when they were releasing OSR 2.0 that's when they added the, a new boot screen that said micro, with Microsoft Internet Explorer well whenever I installed um, Windows 95 on this little VM I actually had like Internet Explorer 1 or 2.0 but not sure but I actually upgraded it to version 5.5 so I'm going to show you that I have 5.5 with service pack 2 installed that's the latest version of Internet Explorer you can use on Windows 95 is Internet Explorer 5.5 if you want to use Internet Explorer 6 you'd have to have Windows 98 Windows 2000, Windows ME, or Windows NT 4.0 with Service Pack 6 installed. Even, I even got Windows Media Player. Let me show you that I got the good old Media Player 6.04, which comes with Internet Explorer 5 or Internet Explorer 5.5. So yeah, you could upgrade this to version 7.0 in Windows 95. And I'll show you that I've got Office 97 installed. And this is actually Office 97 with Service Release 1. So onwards, we're going to go into the program. You got all your standard Packard Bell applications. Majority of them require CD. You even got a media controller and good old Packard Bell navigator, which you can make normally find on on every Packard Bell that usually come with that. You even got all the multimedia applications like Genuine, this 1995 home project. Some of them I have CDs too. And you even got the Microsoft application. This is Ver Microsoft Works 3.0 B. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that I'm using ver This is version 3 of Microsoft Money as well. And you even got all your 
little advertisements for dial-up modem for your dial-up connection back in 95 that's when um internet was on the rise which was becoming more popular you even got AOL which that's how I, uh, that's how I was introduced it or to the internet I think it was like version 4 or 5 which I was the one that when I first saw AOL cause my my aunt she used to have this old compact computer that ran Windows 98 first edition and she normally when she was staying at my grandparents house that's what they normally use to get on the internet was AOL you even got CompuServe which that one's kind of common I had Faxworks but I had to delete Faxworks because the main issue is going to cause the computer the VM to go berserk because this is not a Packard Bell as you see I even, even got all the Packard Bell internet mail news browser web browser and Prodigy I never heard of Prodigy internet I even in I installed that myself, Entertainment Pack 4. You even got all of some of the Windows 3.1 applications like File Manager and Program Manager. And a Packard Bell System Credentials. I'm going to show you Program Manager in Windows 95. And this is what it looks like. So we can go ahead and close on out of that real quick. No, just I even installed Plus for Windows 95, and I even added some of the games from the Entertainment Pack. Let's look at good old. And you even got the sound utilities. I'm going to show you Packard Bell Navigator. Welcome from Packard Bell. We offer you two computing environments to choose from. Pack Oops, I didn't want to go to that. Let, let me go back to Packard Bell Navigator. Sorry for that, guys. Welcome from Packard Bell. We so this is what Packard Bell Navigator looks like. Look around, you got all of your internet providers, uh, all the games it has. And we probably got to have the Packard Bell Navigator CD. I think this is version 3.0, I believe. I could be mistakenly wrong. You even got a media controller. Well, it just shuts it down. Let me go back and start it back up, and then we'll go ahead and pause real for a moment. I'm back since I um, accidentally restarted the VM. So. I'm going to show you plus for Windows 95. So I'm going to do a custom. Now that looks a whole. Now that looks a whole lot better. I'm going to show you the entertainment pack.
that's enough for that. It's probably gonna be too long. But anyways, you may notice the way how it sounds. The Sound Blaster 16 drivers. So that's enough for now, and I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down. And I'm glad y'all enjoyed this. So, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Bye.